Very good. And I'm, I'm going to stay on that theme with my first fact. Uh, mm. Talking about Rand Lords, man. The Rand Club, you know, uh, corner of Love Day and Commissioner. Still there today. Oh, I've, I've got such an embarrassing story for that. <laughs> I, uh, I've never been in, but uh, I don't know if I've ever, you know, driven past it and gone, oh my gosh, there it is. I, I don't think I've ever noticed, but it's still there today and started by at least, uh, definitely Cecil John Rhodes started the first iteration. It's had now, it's had three different uh, iterations, um, but the, at the good old, Main bar area is where the Transvaal Reformation Committee, uh, which <clears throat> Mr. Cecil John Rhodes was part of occasionally, but that's where they plotted to overthrow the Transvaal Republic, and the Jamison Raid was plotted from the main bar at the Rand Club. That's my fact. Yeah, I, th I think that's right, uh, and I, I mean, I can I can believe it. You know, I've been in that main bar. Have you? Yeah, and I mean, <clears throat> it brought, you, it brought, you, it brought out the dick, of, brick dick in me because yeah, yeah. what happened is I was invited because the Rand Club for a long time recently, you know, the last few decades, it's been really struggling because it's got no parking. It was never designed as a building for cars, you know, so it's got, mm. there's no parking at all. So for them to attract people to be members there and to come in is very difficult. So they tried to get, you know, kind of young uh I suppose exciting people and they invited us to to come and, wow. and have a have a cocktail party in that main bar. And the place is very um you know very kind of colonial and traditionally like you know mining um friendly but it's it's beautiful mm. and but it was old and kind of worn and very interesting sort of building. And I in fact if you go and you google my bio photos for a car, I've got a comedy oh. shoot that was actually taken oh, wow. in there because they've got a basement with these huge old billiard tables oh. and uh and snooker tables and then this this main bar is just animal heads all around the the side. And uh, and I naturally thought it was hilarious to spend the entire evening being all like, oh, yes, I remember when I was in Africa. We, uh, <laughs> you know, we, uh, we used to shoot the animals uh, willy-nilly. People say there's no tigers in Africa, but there used to be, you know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Very like that the whole evening. Uh, thinking I was being hilarious. And then, the, then at the end of the night, they gave everybody membership forms except me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't what they were looking for. I think, but yeah. The, so yeah, I could. I could easily imagine that that bar was definitely around at the time. Um, that that building itself went through a number of different kind of forms. You know, it was initially. I think when it was set up, it was like brick and corrugated iron roofing, and then they kind of evolved it over the years into into what it is now, which is this like multi-story, mm. you know, beautiful beautiful building that I, I don't even know if it still runs to be honest but but I could definitely see uh you know your your Jamison raid plotters sitting at that bar because mm. it's yeah certainly old enough certainly the right kind of uh the right sort of environment for a decent treasonous plot yes well you're spot on it is true it is it started off with a gentle true one a uh, real gentlemanly true fact yes they they did and of course the Jamison raid um, I think it was as early as 1886, was, or, but it was a cock-up, or it was 90. And, and, but the, the failed raid led to the first, what is now, as you just yeah. explained to me, the first South African war. Um, yeah, and uh, Mr. Rhodes was not a big admirer of Mr. Kruger at all. No. Hated him. <laughs> no. Hated him. And uh, Mr. Kruger's interesting. I think people liked him. He had some fans even in other countries like Switzerland. <laughs> there's a there's a, a Kriestrasse in uh, in uh, is it Vienna? No, that's Aus Austria in um, Zurich. Okay. Because okay. Uh, he had some. Ad I think anyone who was standing up to the English, certain parts right. of continental Europe would have gone. Yeah, good on you. Yeah. yeah, but you know, so there's a there's a lovely uh, South African vlog. Uh, called Just Off the Highway that uh, mm. comedian L. Prodgers does. I love it. I'm a fan. I'm a, yeah, I'm a contributor sometimes. I, I buy him a coffee. You myself as well. Yeah, yeah, I love myself it. as well. I, I like it as well. If, if you like South Africa and you ah. like kind of strange stories or or unique things that maybe you haven't noticed about your city or your country, then then it's it's well worth Just watching. Just Off the Highway. But, but yeah, it reminds me of a fact that he, uh, he alerted me to, which is the name Johannesburg, the city Johannesburg. It was actually two kind of um, sort of town developers uh, both who were called Johannes, 
who then um, named it Johannesburg, you know, the center thing. <laughs> and when they went to to Kruger to get his his uh, approval for the name of this new city, he said, yeah, man, but why didn't you name it after me? And uh, and they said, well, ah, but we did because your middle name is Johannes. <laughs> And he, yeah, and he signed it into. I mean, you know, that's probably one of those apocryphal stories, and I think Els is it himself. But uh, it sounds like a, a a great way for for Johannesburg to have been founded in the first 